welcome back. We are on Bergmoor 2K15 here on the Gottfried farm. If you remember on the last episode we finished uh, harvesting our potatoes and put those in the silage bunker and we're going to attempt to make some TMR in the silage bunker utilizing the far silo mod. So we're going to go ahead and chop our corn and uh, see if we can't get a few trailer loads of that in there. We only came up with uh, a little over 26,000 liters of potatoes. So if I did my math right, we need uh, just a little over two more trailer loads to put the overall level to about 70,000. Um, should get us to where we need to be. That would be 40% potato and 40% uh, chaff. Um, I'm going to see if that will work out. So we're going to fire up our Don 680 here and try this guy out. We haven't used it yet on the farm, so um, we'll give it a go. See how it works. Turned around here. I'm liking having this uh, space up here cleared out. Wonder. Jake is not able to help me on the farm today, so I'm not really sure if this is going to work with the. Um, needing to use hired help. But we'll give it a go. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens if we can uh, it says we can hire the worker so. so we'll just top up here and let's get our uh, we'll grip, grab the international and our tipper here and head on down and uh, see if we can't make this work I have a feeling he ain't going to have much room at the uh, bottom edge of the, the other end of the field there to, to turn around we'll figure it out see what happens otherwise we might just have to pause the episode and wait till Jake's available. I wasn't really going to use course play on this map uh, since we bounce in and out of most of, for the most part we'll be doing it on multiplayer but there are going to be times like now where it's past Jake's bedtime and I want to get a little work done on the farm but uh, I might do things single player. Most of the time won't be a problem, but uh, if he can't maneuver himself around, it uh, just might be a problem. I did watch some other videos, or just a couple, to try and figure out where their earth fruit storage was on this map, and it's where I thought it might be, but uh, apparently I have some texture glitches going. Uh, the building that I thought it was in is, is just white on the ground, like I thought maybe it was lime or something, but thought that that would be odd that it was in two separate bays, so... I did a little Googling or searching on YouTube for some other videos on the Birdmoor map and from what uh, I discovered there really aren't too many in English other than we're 
doing one and Farmer Beavis is doing one. But uh, they've only done one episode so far. They've only done one episode and uh, started with just doing wheat harvest and haven't got to any of the earth fruits yet, so. So I watched one in German, which was interesting since I don't understand a, a word of German. But uh, I googled to see what the German word for potato was and then, <laughs> which is, uh, and then Googled that along with uh, Birdmore and found a map and didn't understand a word they said, but watched them harvest the potato field and put it in the, the bay there in the building and that's as much as I needed to know. In one of the previous es episodes, I was talking about uh, my grandpa and him working on small engines and uh, doing a lot of sharpening of sickle blades for people's mowers and equipment and that type of thing but uh, when the old farmers would come and I would be talk to him and I'd be uh, spending time there they all they all talked in German didn't understand a word they said either so in a way since we've been talking about my family's history and stuff on this map, uh, watching that other video in German and, and not being able to understand the word they were saying, kind of, in a, in a way, reminded me of when I was a, a young boy and would be hanging out with my grandpa and the farmers in the area there would come by and talk to him and they would stand around and talk there for 15, 20 minutes or more in German and I was able, never able to understand the word they were saying. But that was kind of funny that it reminded me of that. Well, I tell you, I'm having a, a hard time getting used to the tight turning spaces and working on this map and our guy in the down here is hung up. So we're going to see if we can save him here. Get him lined up a little better here. I figured we were going to have a little bit of a problem. Be able to try and uh, do this without any help and not being able to set up force play but we'll see if we can't at least get enough done uh, to get some chaff into the to the bin here or to the silage bunker I would like to thank uh, a kick to the head for being uh, the first subscriber to our channel. Uh, I know it says we have two at the moment, but uh, one is Farmer Jake, so since he works here on the farm, that, that doesn't really count. And somehow a kick stumbled across our channel, which is kind of cool in a way because we've, we've watched a whole bunch of his videos, his farming videos, and uh, Seven Days to Die. We watched most all of those. Oh, and our trailer school a little on the road. So I thought that was pretty neat that uh, you know somebody we watch on YouTube all the time was um, our first subscriber to the channel.
jump out real quick and Roll this out here real quick. Gotta take the parking brake off time. But overall, we're still at still like in the 90s. So, if you use a big tractor and you use this uh, composting roller, not composting, but uh, silage roller, it uh, seems to work pretty good. It only takes a few passes across. tend to do a whole lot of silage usually on the maps. Uh, I know you can make quite a bit of money doing that, but it does get kind of repetitive and can be kind of boring. But you certainly can make a, a good chunk of change. I think this would be good enough. And this way we'll be you know, making food for our cows. That's good. Okay, let's see if we can't take any parts here for a moment. We're here and jump back in the international and see if we can't get another trailer full here. And I'll join you back when we got that done. Okay, we got our second trailer full here. Go ahead and uh, cart that over to the silage bunker. This guy and get that compacted up. Guess I should probably, maybe, if anybody's interested, can get a uh, link to some of these mods together for put in the description anybody would be interested um, I can't remember where I got this this tractor the uh, T150K which looks like a Kirovitz but the um, or the International I don't remember where I got that one off the top of my head but the uh, two Universals came uh, from from the official farming simulator website, they're part of the mod contest that is going on, and they're okay. Uh, I really like the textures on the one, I think it looks great, but it's just got some issues with the uh, sound files. It's really loud, and when you're doing the multiplayer uh, and somebody else is using that tractor, it will completely drown out your tractor and you can hear it at that volume from seems like uh, halfway across the farm so that can be pretty annoying but it's a great looking tractor no doubt about that let's see we are at 66 so we need about 4,000 more to get us right up to Pretty close to 70,000 is where I think we need to be if I 
if I did the math right. So we'll run up here and see if we can't get a little bit more out of this field, and then uh, we'll probably, I guess, just take whatever we have left. Uh, we'll just chop it up and and take it over to the BGA across the road there, I guess. Doesn't look like it'll be a whole lot. So that might, I don't know what else to do with it at this point. But we should only need about 4,000. Uh, interesting little texture in the dirt there. I'm not sure what that is. Crop circle? UFO land there or something? <laughs> could be, I guess. Could be. Mud? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know that uh, I've ever seen that before. Look at that. Look at that. I guess is that supposed to be mud? That's kind of that's crazy. Oh, I got our 4,000. Got a little more. I don't want to go too far over. I went way over. Hopefully our uh, mixture there doesn't have to be exact, so well, let's see. Run the P one fifty on it. Scratch it down. All goes well. We can uh, get this covered up and be on our way to making some food for our cows. Some TMR. We should be able to get them up to 100% pretty quick then and not really sure if we need to water them or not. There is two troughs. I need to check because if the one don't take water, we could get a Ruben Schneider and just load that thing up with either sugar beets or potatoes and that would sure take the work out of uh, making TMR for the cows. And that put us right at right at 10%. So let's see if Blanket silo. Oh, there we go. How about that? We get a green tarp on this one. It sure makes it look like a lot more in there than what we put in there. Alright, well. I am going to hop back in the International. And I'm going to finish chopping the rest of this corn and run it over to the BGA and I will see you then okay we're gonna go down and uh, harvest uh, field 8 I think 
and uh, finish out the the episode with that. And Farmer Jake is back on the farm. He says hi there. So he's already heading down there with the International and the Tipper. I don't know. I'm gonna grab the grab our far harvester here and head down there. I don't don't recall what's planted on field eight, but I think it might be um, canola. So hopefully we can get that one harvested up here pretty quick. Yeah, you can go on over to the field. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just don't drive in it though. So I noticed when I was watching uh, the all German video of them harvesting this potato field here, they used the big uh, Grimmy with the the harvester on the front. And hold on a second here. Let me get this guy going. Let's see. B turns it on. They, uh, when they harvested that field, they got almost 40,000 uh, liters of potatoes out of it. And we only got like 26, so... I think, since ours was a tow behind, and since I have the drive control mod installed, that uh, it has the wither wheels function on it and destroys crops, I, I think that really uh, that really hurt us on our yield on the field so so I don't know I, I, I don't like that that we lost that much because if we could have got 40,000 that means I could put in a whole nother trailer full um, in the silage pit uh, or bunker rather and that would have meant uh, another trailer full then we could have done an even hundred thousand could have done a couple of trailer couple trailer fulls uh, of the corn as well so we're gonna have to look at some some other options before I think I think before it's time to harvest potatoes again and since we ended up making so much money from selling wood chips much more than I anticipated or or intended really uh, you know since we do have such an, a good bankroll here on this farm we might just get us uh, if we can save up enough uh, money or I guess we could always take out a loan too and be pretty close to having enough to uh, to get us the big grimmy so maybe we'll do that when it comes time to need to harvest some more potatoes because I, I don't like using losing that much yield by having the drive control mod in and, and, and that so I haven't uh, haven't messed around with uh, with my mods folder to see if I can figure out what's causing us to to have the missing texture in the the earth fruit storage. But since we used up all our potatoes in the in the silage bunker, I guess we don't really see that either. So not too terribly big deal. But uh, I do need to work on that a little bit off camera. So I guess this this recording stuff here uh, is stuff that uh, will be going in episode four. So we've been working on Farmer Jake's. Uh, 
away from his tractor at the moment. Get this going here and until he gets back. So this will be episode four, which uh, you know we've been we're new to this YouTube and thing, so we've this will be our uh, first full episode and would like to try and start getting a little more creative maybe with our editing and uh, adding some music and that kind of stuff maybe and, and doing some little intros but uh, we'll see how that goes if if time permits to do that but uh, right now we just you know kind of get used to the whole process and and that sort of thing and why is it not wanting to end? Oh, it is. It's just, it's canola. It's black. It's the same color as the bottom of the trailer. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to cut away for a little bit, and we're going to keep working on this field. And uh, we'll be right back when we're a little closer to being done. Okay, we got the uh, field number eight finished up there, harvested. And uh, not a whole lot of canola. 7,000... 584 liters. Seems uh, weird to me being used to <laughs> farming big fields and large equipment that, um, you know, we don't even fill a full, excuse me, uh, a full tipper. Just uh, not used to that. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm going to dump this here the silo we'll go ahead and shut him down we'll jump over to the harvester there and we'll drive him back up to the farm I tried to get the uh, universal over here doing a little cultivating but for some reason not letting me hire the worker. Well, it'll let me hire the worker, but it'll only go a few feet and turn itself off. So I used the hired worker a little bit with the cultivator, and it worked fine. So I'm not sure what's going on, but I guess I'm going to have to do it all manually. So I'll probably do some of that uh, off camera. Nothing too much exciting about... Uh, cultivating and certainly doing all watching everything get cultivated so I think we're going to end the episode here and next episode we'll probably harvest some more fields and try and get uh, all the crops out of the field and maybe get some cultivating and some fertilizing and uh, maybe get into getting some seed some seed down and uh, check on our uh, TMR and see how that's going so if you find your way to our videos and you like what we're doing here and like to see more of uh, Gottfried Farm here uh, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel I'm your host Zigzaggy and we'll see you next time on the farm